Okay, yeah, thank you for the introduction and first of all, a congratulation also what you have done, what you have produced in this short period of time uh, with your team, yeah, with your leaders and it's a pleasure for me to yeah, give you updates, news, uh, also deeper understanding and insights about this opportunity. And uh, that you know a bit more about me, I'm 52 years old. I think exactly the same age like uh, um, other special guests today, later on. And uh, yeah, same country also. And I'm um, since 22 years in the direct selling industry. And the 10 years before that, in the 90s, I was also um, have, having my own business in, in the case of uh, import, export, also um, uh, very nice goods from your country, from, from India. Yeah, so I experienced also good connections to India a long, long time ago in case of trading goods. And um, yeah, the reason that I'm here by Safir and um, also Safir in cooperation with Scenic is uh, I'm looking for long term. I'm looking for quality and I'm looking for an ecosystem, yeah? not a fake ecosystem yeah? or many network marketing companies presenting yeah? with, yeah, with, with <laughs> masterpieces, <laughs> no sense, not up to date not this special future industries like tokenization digitalization and uh, also blockchain technology yeah what we see here is a brand it's a real brand scenic technology and also very good strategy to separate the direct selling division yeah in case of you know it's, it's always a lot of trouble it's a lot of um, dust uh, created by big organizations around the world and we will get millions of customers and members within the next few uh, years and uh, for sure within these years we will reach minimum um, yeah the minimum yeah, definitely seven figures yeah i'm sure within the next few months with staking tip model and all the new uh, things upcoming so let me share the screen and let me explain some of the news and also that's the most important slide and the second most important slide I will show you after. So you must understand one thing. Everything is based on the Scenic blockchain. Okay. And if you're going back seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months into 2021, nobody was expecting last summer a smart chain. Yeah. So there are also some changes in the strategy, some extensions yeah some new ideas yeah which will be implemented and nobody expect the smart chain read to be ready now in the next few weeks in february yeah so there's another masterpiece what we didn't expect what is already finished yeah or in the next two three weeks finish and going online so the first layer is the decentralized blockchain the second layer is the smart chain yeah based on the blockchain and on this smart chain, we will see yeah, fantastic projects from the crypto space, yeah, also blockchain based like um, Tupan or like uh, Avinok, yeah, and many others to follow. But most important also, all those tokenization projects. Yeah, they recognize today in, in the early hours in the morning that there are a lot of people in the world also asking me today. Yeah, in, Form of voice messages, um, emails, um, how this tokenization works. Yeah? And um, these projects and the asset backed token created, backed by the real estate, by the gold, by the diamonds, by the NFTs, will run with the Scenic token standard on the Scenic blockchain. Yeah? And one of the questions uh, you mentioned, Vinish, was also when this will be visible that Scenic has a real blockchain, when open source code, smart contracts, etc. This will happen within the next three weeks. We will see it on GitHub. We will see additional crypto exchanges also centralized. Two more exchanges within the next few weeks only. Yeah? And that is one requirement for coin market cap. Yeah? You need to be listed on minimum two centralized exchanges. Yeah, so we will see them. And with that, also the requirement fulfilled to be listed soon after that 
on coin market cap. White paper, yeah? So why they don't have a white paper from the beginning? They don't have any coin offering, yeah? So if I create a coin and I make an ICO, an initial coin offering, I need to have a white paper, yeah? So they don't need a white paper, yeah? A white paper simply is, is, is something like a roadmap. Yeah, so everybody can make a white paper to satisfy the customer of this coin offering. They don't need it at this time. Yeah, they did it in another way. But um, for sure, we will see with stamp from one of the big four audit companies in the world approved by this company in the middle, let's say plus minus a few days, middle until latest end of February this white paper also yeah so this february will be very special we will see uh, different new exchanges we will see a lot of updates in the application also the access for this fantastic and crazy staking tip model what will change the game what will bring us a second season after the big wave of minting and hub selling in 2021 in my opinion i forecast the next six months after the start of the staking tip model, we will make more volume, volume, staking volume, than we have sold hubs in 2021, yeah, in volume, yeah, for sure. But it's so easy, it's so special. And if you look at the chart of this pilot project, Avinok, and you compare it to the Bitcoin chart, not on three weeks, four weeks, on 90 days, the last three months, you you must think of oh, what is that it's 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 a mirror it's opposite yeah this shot of the pilot project of our staking tip model is non-stop organically increasing the last three months yeah where the, uh, the crypto winter was there yeah like no other coin in the top 500 of the coin market cap no other coin at over 500 percent increasing price organically week by week like a clock yeah and i promise you the next three months the next six months it will be the same yeah organically floating in staking in enjoying rewards getting commission like nowhere else you get on staking yeah and this has never been done before it's not to compare to any product in the networking industry in the last hundred years yeah there is not a product where you can put in a $20, $30, $15, $45, million, $1,000, whatever, and you get 365 days a year staking reward, and you get commission from your structure, from your customer base, uh, like we get in Unilever, rank bonus, all the, the income streams we have. Guys, this is unbelievable. We will get Africa, we will get Asia, we will get India, we will get anybody on the planet here, millions of customers on board with that. And um, that's only the beginning yeah, of this new product wave staking here at one point in this ecosystem. Debit card, um, the premium partners will receive in the first quarter, yeah, the premium partners first step, yeah, and then in the second quarter, um, yeah, um, available for anybody. Um, depending, it can be that there are a few countries, I cannot promise every single country in the world, but we will see and for good, a, a good solution. Yeah. So scenic swap, yeah, very important. I think many people in your team are asking when I can withdraw my scenic coin easier, faster. And uh, the answer is uh, they're working on the synchronization yeah, and also implementation that you can um, withdraw your already minted Scenic coin into the application directly without wrapping like now, yeah, the wrapping process to Ethereum-based Scenic token or the plan in the beginning, the wrapping process to the Pancake, uh, the Binance Chain-based version of Scenic. No, that will not happen anymore. Yeah, much easier it will be. Yeah, you withdraw your native Scenic coin into the application and there you will be able to swap it easily to the Ethereum-based version or to the pancake swap version, or uh, you let it there, you park it there in the original native Scenic coin. So you have all the choice and all the possibilities to swap, to send wherever you want, also to the 
centralized new upcoming exchanges. Yeah, so that will be happen also within the next few weeks uh, in February. Yeah, so don't count the day, count peace. Guys, so many things will be completed what nobody else in the networking industry ever had dreamed about. Yeah. On smart chain, on blockchain, GitHub is coming. Like I said, all the coin market caps, com crypto compare coming. And uh, then we will see on this smart chain, yeah, the scenic swap. And that is our kind of uniswap, our kind of pancake swap. Okay. So that is all what we expected last year. I didn't expect anything more than something like Uniswap, but based on the Scenic blockchain, okay? So across the board, this was, this was also mentioned, but we will see the Scenic swap based on the Scenic smart chain, yeah? Smart chain is going online now in February, and then on the smart chain, the swap chain will be installed and the setup of the trading pairs and the liquidity for these trading pairs will need some weeks yeah so the plan is to be ready with the scenic swap in the end of march and then we have the first exchange decentralized exchange running producing transactions fees and all this stuff what we are presenting in the presentation and transactions is a key point also avinog also tupan also all the tokenization projects and their tokens will run with the own Scenic token standard, like Ethereum has ELC20, yeah, or Binance Chain has BEP20. We will have the Scenic20 token standard. Yeah, All the projects which are migrating, like Avinok or Tupan, or built later on on this smart chain, yeah, will have this Scenic token standard. And that means every single transaction, selling, buying, doesn't matter, yeah, sending, is bringing fee, is bringing profit in this ecosystem. Yeah, this is very important to understand. It means after migration, after this is ready, yeah, um, the future transactions of Avino, yeah, and this will be millions alone with a single project. Yeah, I'm sure it's a market cap right now of 35 million. We will hit 100 million market cap in the next few month with Avinok alone through the staking volume yeah and uh, this um, um, yeah um, this this increasing market cap when people buying yeah Avinok to stake Avinok yeah and this will be for sure soon a few hundred million in the next few few years and with that we're coming closer to the top 200 and then step by step the goal into the top 100 okay so smart chain on the smart chain the scenic swap yeah, and this will be ready to plan is uh, round end of March. And then a few months later, it's a plan to start with the big decentralized exchange. And this is not a uni swap or not a pound kick swap. This will be a new category of decentralized exchange across the board, connecting all blockchains behind the interface, yeah, so that the user can focus on the original Ethereum, original Bitcoin, no wrapping required. Like on pancake swap and others yeah so this is then the big revolution and uh, for sure by the launch of this decentralized exchange we will have increased the number of our members and customers and potential customers of this decentralized exchange yeah so every single person you bring in with the staking tip model with the hubs with other hardware products we will see and uh, having already a few yeah will um, increase the number of the potential customer on our exchanges, and they will use these exchanges. Yeah, but they are connected. Yeah, they they uh, participating if they're holding Sene coins. Yeah, and this is very important to understand. And yeah? that these things working together. Yeah, every customer of uh, staking tip. Yeah, is also supporting the ecosystem of Sene with the smart chain, with the blockchain, with all the stuff. And uh, so we have value here, value there, and this long term. Yeah. And the next slide is, is, is so genius, it's so crazy. If you imagine BNB, yeah, Binance, let's say they will put in all their trading fees, yeah, by 
billions, many billions of daily trading volume. And they will use these fees, what they, what they earn, yeah, to put this into the BNB, buying the BNB, burning the BNB nonstop over years. They are number three now after Bitcoin and Ethereum. BNB is number three. I tell you, BNB is soon number one. If they did exactly that, but they don't do. They don't. Nobody will do. Yeah, but they will make money in their pocket. Yeah, here this is going in the coin. Hundred percent of those trading fees are going into the coin, and this is not yet happened. So understand the price of Sene coin today doesn't matter. I'm not looking for this. If this is ten or twenty or thirty then it doesn't matter. This process has not yet started. Yeah, fact. So and in the moment it will start, in the moment our almost 500,000 people, in the next three months, we will hit a million people with a staking tip model. We will hit a million people. They will exchange their Bitcoin, their Zeni coin, whatever on this exchange later on. Yeah, and this will bring million times fees. And I pay... On Uniswap, yeah, if I buy some Avinov or whatever there from time to time, I pay a 50, 80, 100 dollar fee for a single Ethereum transaction. So, but if it's only 10 dollar or 5 dollar, depending on how much and uh, what, yeah, on our, we have millions of transactions, we have multi millions of dollars in fee, and they will be used to buy back the Senecoin. So, there's a non stop cash flow in the market cap of Senecoin. This is not happened with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with all your favorite coins on the market. It's not happened. It's only supply and demand. And you see what happened in the last few weeks yeah, with supply and demand. If people are getting fear, yeah, they're selling. Yeah? And the, the market cap yeah, a few days ago was 1.6 billion, the whole crypto market cap, coming a few weeks before from a, over 3 billion. Yeah, so the whole crypto market is almost cut in a half within a few weeks. Imagine there are coins not existing anymore. Many coins 90% down, the average 70% down. And now we are coming up with tokenization, with different platforms yeah, for tokenization, with master partners, real estate, big construction companies, alone able to tokenize hundreds of Buildings with a value hmm, more than this, the yearly sales of the most networking companies, guys. That's what we will deal in the future. And also, this is supporting the market cap of Sene coin. But not today, not yesterday, and also not tomorrow. Yeah, This will start step by step, this process. Yeah, With the start of the Sene swap, yeah? end of first quarter. Yeah, with the Senec exchange and all those tokenization projects handled uh, over these platforms, joint venture platforms, we will see with those cooperation partners, very clever. Yeah, very clever. Imagine you can create your own platform, you can tokenize some projects, any kind of projects. Yeah, but more clever is to get huge company, partner, influential with a lot of assets by their own. Yeah like a franchise model, on board, and they are committed and contracted to run over the Scenic smart chain with the Scenic token standard, with millions of transactions in the future, bringing million times fees into this ecosystem, guys. Do you understand this masterpiece? This is never been done before. There's nothing to compare, but you must understand. It is not yet influencing the Scenic coin price. And if you understand it, you are so peaceful, you get your tea, you get your coffee, you are so relaxed, but you will know the next few years, it's a nonstop cash flow coming into this ecosystem. And uh, this is amazing. Yeah, this, thank you for this uh, red arrow here, but this is exactly a very important point. If you're talking about the crypto market now in the last few weeks and this digital stocks, asset backed token generation, what will be the future of cryptocurrency, especially and I'm sure Bitcoin will not go to 100,000 within this year. Yeah, we will see and we must take care of 
political decision, USA, Biden, others, and there's a lot of things with regulations and other uh, stuff in the background. So, but this is good for us. Yeah, this is good for this market, for this future market of asset-backed tokens running over the Scenic blockchain, uh, sorry, smart chain in that case, and this is very important. Yeah, so yeah, Vinish, I think you must get the the, the uh, function, the security function here for painting. Yeah, we have a painter, think, uh, famous you painter. Can dis dis disable annotation from the side. I can uh, uh, just go to the share button and then the last more and then. Disable annotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Annotation you can clear first and then disable it. And uh, dear friends, aap log jo bhi ye kar rahe, please isko mat kare. It's, it's an immature behavior. Uh, just screen mein draw kar rahe. And uh, please don't do this, guys. Yeah, yeah. This is a famous painter, I think, uh, who <laughs> likes to remember me that we have also an NFT platform. Sorry, I forget that. Thank you for yeah, the yeah. tip. Um, we have an NFT platform coming up, yeah, with digital art guys and uh, with a lot of fantastic sport brands, whatever um, possible there. Um, it's amazing and NFT, you know, it's a big, big boom and we will see a lot of crazy things happen here in the near future. So yeah, that's uh, the second important slide, what you need to understand. And uh, yeah, then, yeah, this is then, uh, yeah you know about the hub so that is um yeah a bit overview what is coming the next few weeks and also that you understand a bit this uh, scenic swap scenic exchange you have two kind of exchanges coming and tokenization is the future and we will participate from all those projects but they're running over the smart chain they're producing fees on the smart chain and these fees will support the scenic coin yeah so don't worry about the scenic coin Focus on supporting this ecosystem, supporting the scenic coin, yeah, with a new model of staking. Yeah, you will learn from Venus for sure uh, about this. And uh, yeah, Venus, I think we can go uh, over to some questions or what do you recommend? Yes, of course. Uh, and, uh, thanks a lot uh, for sharing the latest updates. And uh, now I think uh, like uh, we have a few major questions coming out and. Uh, आप लोग भी जितने भी लोग हैं अगर आपके पास कोई मेजर क्वेश्चंस है जो आप पूछना चाहते हैं तो आप एक बार चैट बॉक्स में मुझे डाल सकते हैं तो आई विल ट्राई टू आस्क डायरेक्टली टू मार्क एंड नमड़े कोटे दे आरकंगल एंड तक ले मेजर आई टोल्ड चोदेंगे लोन टंगल इतना तो निके चैट ले डाउन ना दाना तो क्या � to the uh, like to the DAP and uh, and then take it into the centralized exchange or pancake swap. Like, uh, is there any precise date? Like any particular week planned for it? So that was one of the major things. Yeah, this is uh, I mentioned already a bit about this as in the in the next two two and a half weeks. Um, I expect that they are ready with a staking tip model in the application. That this app is synchronized for using whatever ethereum bitcoin whatever sending in sending out this yeah synchronization will be done and then the next step yeah a bit later yeah i think within february realistically is that you can withdraw your sane coins in the app and you can swap it inside the app in the version you like ethereum based if you deal with uniswap if you like to go to pancake swap you can swap it from the native coin in the ETH, in the in the pancake version the bnb version okay and also you can connect this application with uh, the main thing so your main thing will not run anymore over the back office it will go directly in the app so your coins going directly in the app they minted. Okay, thank you. And the question, uh, next question was uh, like, uh, are we expecting Zenic to be on any centralized exchange soon? Or if so, by when we can expect any? any it is done. It, it is everything under uh, the contract. Everything is done. It's only implementation now. Yeah. So within the next two to three weeks, definitely. Yeah. So it's that's it's great. Done. And uh, then the next question was uh, like, uh, like uh, where can we see our uh, like source code like when is it going to be live on github and, like, also in the time frame also within three weeks uh, github 
will be uh, then uh, showing up all the details and you have more more um, transparency also with the blockchain and the world can see they have a blockchain yeah okay one person was asking like uh, when where can we see that sales happening like uh, how much how hubs are being sold and how is the sales up happening yeah the the number of hubs this is a question of implementation but you you must understand also they are so under pressure yeah we will we will enjoy every single day which we can start earlier with the minting as a bit of it in the minting with a bit of staking model yeah with uh, those what you asked before yeah the swapping function in the application so you must have priority yeah what is most important what do you like first yeah and i think the the function to to show how many hubs we have sold we can update that from time to time so we we are close to the 150000 yeah so i can i can give you some updates i can ask the news numbers and for sure this will be uh, visible in the future but it is not that priority like we can withdraw we can swap we can start with the staking model yeah you must understand yeah they they working also the smart chain nobody expected smart chain now this is ready yes. now it's online sure. yeah so this is important and this is what some people didn't see on the other side yeah so priority yeah the earlier they can start with tokenization projects on the smart chain the earlier they can install the scenic swap but this must be on the smart chain yeah so that's why this is priority and it's in your uh, priority also yes yeah definitely because uh, like the most important thing is that even even though it's if it's not there on the back office but still if you get an authentic information from you that it is 150000 only sold till now because I will get the who... news number and will provide this yeah, number. Like I expect 140,000, is... something like that. So close, yeah. close. Yeah, That's but nice. it is less than 200,000, right? Because there are a few yeah, people yeah. who say that it is already 300,000 sold, 400,000. Nah, 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 nah. There are also people, <laughs> rumors uh, in February, there is no hub available anymore. This is, yeah, okay. there so are. So we can expect know. the hub also to be available uh, like for more time, along with the you know, Yes, people. yes. And you will see after the exchanges are starting tokenization is coming in and all the projects running yeah and transactions every day happen yeah you will see and the coin price is increasing later on uh, yeah, you know you need to save hub yeah but um imagine this price is going to five to ten to twenty dollar and also if in one or two years those people who are joining now and having not this number anymore in coins per day yeah, imagine by ten dollar you have in two years uh, only one coin per day. Yeah, it's a three hundred dollar in a month. By twenty, it's a six hundred. Yeah, but you know, and like I said, look at this non-stop burning, non-stop increasing market cap, not demand, not bias on the on the market like Bitcoin Ethereum, cash flow yes. from an exchange, and the exchange always makes money. Yeah, in good times and in bad times. If you're people selling or buying, it doesn't matter. The exchange is always making money. And the more people we bring in into this community, the more customers, the more transactions, the more fees, the more profit will move our Cinecoin. Doesn't matter if they have any connection to Cinecoin. They will use our exchange. They are committed. They are a member. They are community. Yeah, excited about staking, whatever product. True, true. And uh, like... One more thing, like uh, uh, there are many people who bought uh, like like more number of hubs, like five hubs, two hubs, three hubs, and this number of coins which is getting minted, like now it is two point five to three coins per day, and earlier it was three, five, ten, and whenever they purchase, but uh, the number of coins what was happening that time that is not the real number what they are getting. Plus there are few people who is not getting coins for a couple of days, few days. And there is difference between the number of coins which is minted by different different hubs. So just uh, like uh, I heard it from you, but uh, I would like to hear like everybody would like to hear what is that uh, real reason? Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can imagine we have this from the beginning. Yeah, it was also a surprise in our minting experience, and um, it is it is not a linear process. It is not the same number. And it's also logical for me, yeah, if I see my 
yeah, development, yeah, how, how many hubs I have, yeah, what I produce with those hubs in a, in a period of time. And I saw the difference between my hubs. Yeah, and after three, four weeks of starting minting, yeah, I have a difference between the best and the worst yeah, minting factor in my hubs started at the same time yeah, of 40%. Yeah, so I was asking same like you. Why is this? Why is this so slow? Why is this? Okay, the average is good. So, but different. Yeah, and the longer they're running. Yeah, if I look in today, yeah, there is a between the worst and the best. Let's say ten percent only, ten percent. So it shows. Yeah, and they are running now nine months, ten months, almost. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and they're coming closer and closer. So that the meaning is there is an average and it is happen. Yeah, otherwise I have the same 40% difference between that. Yeah, so, and it's very important to know you don't need to count the piece. You don't need to look at this. You can have a few days. It's normal. It's not every week. It's not every month. Yeah, but within a year, it can be one or two times that this hub is taking a rest or whatever the, the technical reason is. Yeah, um, It is not a linear process. And this is what we need to understand. And you will see a nice average. And if your hub is completely out of order after a period of time, six months, eight months, 10 months, yeah, then there, there will be also um, yeah, um, uh, the possibility to get some coins from a specific fund. Yeah, But you don't need to look at this after three weeks or even three months yeah so you will see there is an average over time yeah especially if you have a few devices you can you, you can see that over the period of time that they're coming closer and closer to each other and yeah they will not be exactly the same but i saw also um from from um customer uh, from the first hour yeah started minting last year already yeah and there's this more crazy yeah so then by, by a number, I saw this uh, by a number of around 70,000 coins minted with a single hub, yeah? but, but started in the beginning to the best conditions. Yeah, 68, 69, 70. Yeah, so very close. Yeah, but on that level, imagine how less percent this is in difference. There's nothing, there's 1%, 2%. Yeah, only difference between, and he said also in the beginning, like me, about 30%, 40%, 50%, and then this is running. This is a bit slower. Yeah, it is like it is. We can't influence it. And that's why enjoy it and look over long term and see it long term. And um, it will have a good average for sure. Thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Mark, uh, because that's a uh, very valuable information and uh, I think uh, that's amazing. In this material you will find a lot of relevant information about the Zenic and Safar project. Remember that the materials contained in this study are informative and do not constitute an investment advisory service. Therefore, we are not responsible for any loss related to the Zenic project and Safar's benefit plan. If after watching all the material you have questions about Zenic and Safir, post them in the commentary below this video, and we will answer each of them in the next episode. Also, don't forget your thumbs up. And if the channel isn't already on your subscriber list, then you know what to do next.